All right, so most of you guys know just how long I've been asking and waiting for a Dokkan Festival exclusive Android 18, right? And while this isn't quite that, it's pretty damn close. So <laughs> needless to say, I am super excited for this upcoming Dokkan Fest Android 17 and 18. And in today's video, we're going to go through all their details and find out just how good they actually are. And on top of that, there is gonna be a side unit on their banner, which is this Int Android 19 and 20, so we'll take a look at them as well. But before we do that, we gotta start by watching the animations for both these guys. And uh, let me just pause that real quick, cause I haven't seen them yet, so this will be my first time being exposed to these animations. I'm uh, expecting greatness, so hopefully I'm not disappointed. And let me actually pause the music. Okay, so we are ready to go. I'm excited. Uh, let me just turn, turn down the volume a bit. It's a little bit too loud. Okay, so we're ready. Are you ready? Let's get it in three, two, sorry, three, two, one. Let's go. もう一気に終わらせちゃうよ、17号。Yeah, they uh they did not disappoint, guys. They did not disappoint. I mean, what can I say? This is it's 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 very close to a Dokkan Fest Android 18. It's not 100% there, but we're like 90% there. I mean, they did our girl justice, man. They did our girl justice. I love I loved everything about the active skill animation. The super attacks looked awesome. Uh, both the 19 and 20 and the 17 and 18, honestly. And one interesting thing that I noticed is that it seems like both of these units have some kind of like key absorption ability, right? Or like at least like a nullification ability, just like the, uh, the LR Gogeta and the LR Janemba. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I haven't seen their details yet, so we'll uh, find out exactly what that's all about in a second. But as far as the animations go, man, I mean, honestly, I'm just really happy right now. You know, like think about something that you've always wanted, not even Dokkan related, just like something in life that you've been asking for, you've been anticipating, and one day it finally happens and it's just an amazing feeling. You know, so that's exactly what I'm going through right now. This unit is exactly that for me. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, this is a unit that I'm super excited for. I just got to have like, this is something that would make me go back to JP, spend some money to just get them uh, as soon as possible. Not wait for the global release, you know. Um, yeah, the animations look amazing. Like, honestly, they they did a great job with all this stuff but enough with that <laughs> we kind of move on to the, the details um let me know in the comments down below if you guys are 
as excited as I am. I feel like not a lot of people are going to feel this way about these units because, you know, like they're popular characters, but like not really quite on the same level as some other units or other characters in the show. But uh, as you guys know, man, Android 18, the androids overall, but Android 18 specifically has a very special place for me. So it's a great day so far. Today is definitely off to a great start. So with that said, let's uh, pop over to the details for both the 17 and 18 and the 19 and 20. A big, big shout out to the homie Goresh for these translations as always. And starting off with the Dokkan Fest 17 and 18, they are an extreme tech unit. Their leader skill is global chaos and future category skill plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%. So obviously, Global Chaos is a brand new category. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I assume that it's uh, comprised of characters that cause the chaos globally. So you would assume that villains like Boo and Cell should be part of that, but we'll see. And, oh, you know what? I just noticed that we don't have any music playing, so there we go. Okay, so their leader skill, yeah, is Global Chaos, Future, Q plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 170%, 170% across the board, very, very good. Super Attack, Non-Stop Violence, which is melee-based, raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and seals enemy Super Attack. And Passive is Unrelenting Enjoyment, Attack plus 170%, and Defense plus 180%. So already off to a pretty good start because since they get that big defense boost unconditionally, they will be a pretty viable first slot unit. And then changes one type of key sphere besides tech to tech key spheres. Okay, so orb changer gains an additional attack and defense plus 35% per tech key sphere obtained. Hold up. Attack and defense plus 35%. Is there a typo or, I mean, that seems like a lot. <laughs> I mean, I know 35 is 17 plus 18. So I guess it's part of like the theme of the unit, but 35% attack and defense for every tech key sphere obtained. I mean, that's just ridiculous. That's just crazy. I mean, they're already changing tech key spheres by themselves, right? So imagine you bring another tech orb changer and you get between like six to ten tech key spheres per turn, which might be a little bit optimistic. But with ten tech key spheres, that's an additional 350% attack and defense on top of the 170 attack and 180 defense they already get. These guys are going to be putting up some stupid attack stats, man. <laughs> They're going to hit so hard. And defensively, too. They're really going to hold their own um, on, like, most events, if not every event in the game. So, yeah, that's, that's something. Uh, anyways, from there, we have gain an additional attack plus 18% and defense plus 17% per key sphere obtained other than tech. Okay, so if you don't get tech key spheres, they're still nuking, but a much smaller percentage for every key sphere. And uh, gains an additional attack plus 70% when collecting seven or more key spheres. And an additional, oh, an additional defense plus 80% when collecting eight or more key spheres. So it was even more than I thought. If you get 10 key spheres, which is obviously more than seven, then you're actually getting 420% attack with the 70% additional and 430% defense with the 80% additional for eight key spheres. So obviously with these guys, you want to bring an orb changer if possible because uh, that will allow you to consistently get seven or eight or more key spheres for them, right? Uh, wow, okay. And then gains key plus one in addition when collecting rainbow key spheres, of course. 
and performs an additional super attack if HP is 35% or less when attacking, okay? Nullify key based super attacks during the turn if receiving an attack when HP is 35% or more. So, oh wow, okay, so anytime you're above 35% HP, which should be most of the time, key based super attacks just do not damage them. So any Kamehameha, burning attack, uh, Big Bang attack, Gallic Gun, uh, you know, you name it, like any of those attacks will do no damage to these guys when they're above 35% HP. And below 35% HP, they're getting guaranteed double supers. Which, uh, I guess, if you're in like a, you know, tough situation where are about to die, but the enemy is almost dead, then that can really come in clutch, where you kill the enemy before they kill you, right? So, interesting design, um, a lot to take in here, but I just can't get over the fact that they're getting so much attack and defense, man. With every orb, and then at 7, you get 70% more attack. At 8 orbs, you get 80% more defense. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, the power creep is real, obviously. So, that's the passive, and uh, active skill is hellish game, can be used when there is one enemy whose HP is 35% or higher, or when there are three or more enemies once only. Okay, and uh, the active skill is delays a single targeted enemy attack for one turn. So, I see, you're basically using a ghost usher, but it's only for one enemy, so if you're facing multiple enemies, then um, it looks like it's not going to be able to delay all those attacks. It's only going to be delaying the attack for the one enemy you're targeting when you use that active skill. So not quite as good as a Ghost Usher, but still very useful. And if you are facing one enemy, then it's basically a free Ghost Usher. And the good thing is you can really pop it any time, right? Because as long as you're facing one enemy, and their HP is 35% or higher, which would be the case when you first start the fight, um, you can use that active skill. So pretty useful. I can definitely see that coming in clutch uh, in the harder events, right? Like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, so on and so forth. Uh, Links, Android Assault, Organic Upgrade, Twin Terrors, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle, pretty standard to be expected. And categories are Global Chaos, Androids, Future Saga, Joint Forces, Siblings Bond, and Android Slash Cell Saga. So, that is the Dokkan Fest, Future 17 and 18. And, uh, you guys can let me know how you feel about it. Uh, I think they're really stupidly broken, guys. They look mad, mad broken on paper to me. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm overreacting, but I don't think so. I don't think I am. They look, yeah, really busted. So there you go. Moving on to the 19 and 20, which I'm assuming will be also uh, equally, I mean, not equally as broken, but as far as like non Dokkan Fest characters go, probably on the same level of craziness. So let's find out. Dr. Jero and Android 19, Accumulated Murderous Intent. Leader skill, Androids category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack, Bionic Punisher. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and recovers 10% HP. Wow, okay, so healing 10% with every attack. Passive, uh, Energy Seize. Attack plus 200% and defense plus 190%, of course, for 20 and 19 and gains an additional attack and defense plus 39% and disables enemy's guard when launching a super attack. Uh, Android, category allies, key plus three, attack and defense plus 40%, I love that. Such a good support right there. Reveals the location of enemy super attacks when HP is 39% or less. Okay, so at low HP, you can see enemy super attacks, very useful. Absorbs key based super attacks launched at this character and recovers 39% Whoa, 39% of the absorbed damage as HP. So not only do they nullify the base super attacks, but they also will recover a good portion of the damage that you would have taken 
as HP, so you heal. That's uh, that's really good. Wow. Okay. So lots of utility, amazing support, big attack and defense boost, uh, and amazing healing as well. So. Like I said, man, fantastic unit. Basically what I was expecting. And links are Android Assault, Energy Absorption, Red Ribbon Army, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Androids, Android slash Cell Saga, Target Goku, and Power Absorption. Oh, sorry, and uh, Joint Forces. So there you go, guys. That is the 19 and 20, or Jiro and Android 19. And uh, um, all I can really say is Power Creep is real. It's happening right before our eyes. And uh, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, especially for a unit like this, especially for essentially the first Dokkan Fest Android 18, although we're not 100% there yet. We'll get one one day, a standalone 18, but right now, I can't complain. I am more than satisfied with this. So there you have it, guys. Android 17, Android 18, on the way, along with the 19 and 20. Um, I really want to know your opinions in the comments, but you guys have my opinion right now, and uh, I could not be more impressed. I could not be more impressed with the actual details of the units, like what they actually do, but of course also the animations um, look fantastic, and uh, I really can't wait. I really can't wait. And there you go, guys. That is going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.